So I wanted to just kick things off, if it's okay with everybody here, just to tell a little story about Stroudnet. Is that okay? Yes. Yep. Cool. It's a bit of a personal story. Um, it's kind of about how I got here, but hopefully what I'm going to try and do by the end of just, I'm going to take four or five minutes just to, to tell you about Stroudnet, but what it means to me, and how hopefully this is going to inspire you to really do something with 2017. So when I started Stroudnet back in um, June uh, last year, um, I'll be honest, um, one was about uh, one of the reasons was about um, creating a local networking event that would have a really positive impact for businesses in the Stroud area. And actually, what I've managed to do is bring in a lot of businesses from um, Swindon, uh, from Gloucester, from Cheltenham, from North Bristol, from Chepstow, all over the place. Where, so all over the place. Stonehouse. <laughs> Stonehouse. <yeah. laughs> so, and um, I find that really humbling um, because it shows me that Stroud has a place on the map from a business perspective. People want to come to Stroud to do business. There was a second reason, and this was really selfish of me, and I realised this afterwards. I wanted to create a platform for myself to launch my speaking career. So I thought, what better way to do it than to run my own event? And so I ran a masterclass at that. So for those of you who don't know me, or haven't met me before, there's a few new faces here, people, and it's really great that I keep on pulling in fresh blood. Um, <laughs> um, but I've been on a bit of a journey. Um, I'm now a business coach. Um, this is something that I wanted to do for 12 years of my life, and it was Stroudnet that was the launch pad for me being able to do this. <coughs> when I did the first Stroudnet back in June, it was only ever going to be one event. It was going to be one day I would come along and do my masterclass, and that would be it. And it was all about me. Okay? Now, what I want you to remember at this point, okay, for the rest of this story, it's not about me. Okay? This is about all of you. This is really, really important. I'll be talking about me. This is about you, okay? After I ran the first Stroudnet, um, a lot of people came up to me and said, when are you going to do the next one? And I went, I don't know, because <laughs> I hadn't planned the next one. And I was like, okay, and I went away, and this could be a thing. And it has turned into a thing, which is awesome. Um, I've done speaking before, but not, in a bus not necessarily in the business environment. And um, after, my, after my masterclass, and when I went away from um, the event afterwards, I was actually down here. Like, I couldn't, and I couldn't understand it, why I was just, I was feeling depressed. I was like feeling really down about it. And I should have been up here. Like I'd organized this fantastic event, got more than 50 people along. I should have been absolutely flying. And what became apparent to me over the next few days, well actually I went on a bit of a um, uh, sort of exploratory journey of myself because I knew that something wasn't right. And I went out cycling with my, my, my club, um, Stroud Valley Velos, I'm Stroud through and through. And we, that morning, it's a Sunday morning, we'd gone down, does anybody know Froster Hill? Yeah? It's a good fun hill for somebody like me who hates going up hills but loves going down them. So that morning I went down um, Froster Hill 51 miles an hour on a push bike, yeah? I got to the bottom of that hill, said goodbye to my, my cycling buddies, and I thought to myself, it's not enough. I want to go faster. I want to do more. And I found myself, um, and this is where it gets personal, so excuse me. So this is the impact Stroudnet had on me, because it all happened within the space of the first four days after Stroudnet. So I found myself, um, for, not for any, any bad reasons or anything like that, I found myself, um, I pulled up alongside uh, the railway line in Hairsfield. Not for any dubious reasons or anything like that, <laughs> just make that clear, okay? Um, but just, just thinking, I was like, I've been down a hill at 50 miles an hour, why do I want to go faster? Why, why do I feel so shit at the moment? Why do I feel so down? Like I've done something amazing with my life. Um, and a train went flying past, um, one of, the, one of, the, one of the, uh, the express trains that doesn't stop in Stonehouse. Went flying past. 
And I remember thinking to myself, like, and again, don't judge me on this. I remember thinking to myself, what if I just walked in front of that train? All that worry, that stress, everything else just go. Not, I wasn't thinking of doing it. I'm not the sort of person to necessarily do that. Immediately, I thought to myself, what if I don't? And what that meant to me was the answer to why I was feeling down. I thought, I've got to change something in my life, basically. For 12 years, I've been running my branding web design agency and going on this journey every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, back in the same place. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, back in the same place. Okay? And I see so many business owners doing exactly the same thing day in, day out, and still questioning why their lives aren't going in the direction they want to go in. So, I thought, now's the time to do something about it. Career change. This is thanks to Stroudnet. This is why I am where I am today. Why I'm stood here telling you this story today. Don't forget, this is not about me. This is about you. So, I quit my job, basically. I quit my web designer branding agency. Which, for anybody who's made a massive career change knows, is a very scary thing. I know that Danny's thinking about changing some things at the moment, for example. Launch Probably. There you go, launching you on Monday. I know that a few people in the room may well be thinking the same thing. Well, is it worthwhile trying something new in 2017? Equally, if we're going to decide that we're going to do the same thing, let's bloody throw some energy at it. Let's do it bloody properly. Let's give it everything. Yeah? So now, I'm stood here in front of you as a new person, business coach. I picked up, and I don't know why, I always struggled to get clients when I was a web designer towards the end, possibly because I didn't want to do it. As a business coach, doing something that I wanted to do for 12 years, I had no trouble getting clients. Again, it's not about me, I'm not here, stood here trying to brag, but the passion, I think, shows through. So, everybody has got a gift from me this morning in your goodie bags, this. What I'd like you to do is just stand up. <laughs> and repeat after me. I can do it. I can do it. I will take action. I will take action. And finally, 27 will be my year. 2017 will be my year. And the reason why it's framed is because you can either choose to just throw away the picture and not bother doing it, but I would love it if you could have it in your office or somewhere where you can look at it regularly and repeat it every now and then to yourselves. Because I think if you start making changes now for the rest of the year, you're going to create big, big things in 2017. So thank you very much for letting me share that story.